In this short demo, we will check out the Hyperforce Assistant in action. Salesforce is migrating its platform and all cloud services from its data centers to public cloud infrastructure. This would help Salesforce to scale faster globally and would be able to provide customers better security, agility, and productivity. Using Hyperforce Assistant, customers can better prepare their org for migration. Let's see how. We can find the Hyperforce Assistant from the setup page. Notice that there are four parts of the journey, learn, prepare, upgrade, and manage. Let's start by clicking on Start Learning. I see it takes me through what Hyperforce is and its benefits. I also see an FAQ page. I'm bookmarking that for sure. But what I'm most interested in is making sure what I and the engineers need to do to prepare for our upcoming upgrade. So let's try and detect if we have any hard-coded URLs in our org. I think in order to do that, I need to enable access to Salesforce Optimizer. Let me do that. Now clicking on the Verify button, it looks like the Hyperforce Assistant is scanning our org in the background to check if there are any hard-coded references. And we will get an email once the scan is done. Upon checking my email and re-logging back to Hyperforce Assistant, I do see that this org has an Apex class. I'm going to edit my Apex class, which has the hard-coded URL. I can update this class and click on Verify again. After the check is complete, we will receive an email and we can head back to re-verify the hard-coded URL. Let us now try to verify if we have enabled enhanced domains. On clicking the verify button, it looks like the enhanced domains are already enabled. Next, let me check if we have connectivity to Hyperforce. It looks like we need to check it a few days before our org migration date. That's when the new instance on Hyperforce will be available for this check. I will mark my calendar to test and ensure I have connectivity to the new org from our network settings. Additionally, it looks like apart from the verification checks, there are several best practices that are mentioned here as well. Allowing the required domain and getting rid of hard-coded IP allow list, ensuring we can receive email from Salesforce after upgrade to Hyperforce, and enabling tenant-specific OAuth endpoints for Marketing Cloud Connect. This has made my day. I feel much more confident about our upcoming Hyperforce upgrade now.